girls say Merry Christmas everyone. I'll give each other kisses, that's nice. Hi everyone, so as this is another Christmassy, wintry themed video, I thought I'd sit in front of our festive themed fireplace again because I really love sitting here. So, this week some of you have requested to see my winter essentials slash Christmas favourites, so I thought I would just compile it all together and show you some things that I'm absolutely loving at the moment and things that I definitely need for the winter. red and berry lip colours. Now these are my favourite colours to be wearing this season and as I just said they're a mixture of pink to purpley berry colours and some bright reds because I am absolutely loving wearing bright red at the moment and I think Christmas is the perfect time. So on the lighter end if I want to go for something that's a little bit more subtle I go for Rimmel Apocalypse Lip Lacquer in Celestial which looks like this and it's just a pretty nude pink nothing too over the top but it's not like nude where it makes your lips look dead so that's a good one if you don't want to go too strong on the lips but I tend to like going quite dramatic on the lips. The next one is a lipstick, one of my only like true lipsticks in this little pick. Um, this is a sleek lipstick and it's in the colour Loved Up and it's this really bright, I'd say this is more of a fuchsia pink rather than a berry colour. It's what I've got on now, so if you're wondering, this is sleek loved up. Um, it isn't as good as some of the others like stain power wise, because it's not a stain or a balm or anything, so it comes off, off a little bit easier. But I really love it and it's a great vibrant colour and you don't have to put a lot on to get like this really vibrant lip. The next one is a NARS lip pencil and it's a matte lip pencil in the colour never say never um i've used this one the problem is i can't find a large enough sharpener to sharpen it so it's like totally blunt but this is such a gorgeous color it's really easy to apply because it's like a thick um lip liner it's brilliant i absolutely love this color so i need to find a sharpener to sharpen this one of my favourite colours in general, I've worn this all through the summer and autumn and winter and will continue to love it I'm sure, is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in the colour Crush um, and it's this berry colour, I absolutely love it. The great thing about these is they roll up so you can just use them and use them and use them. They're just really, oh, I just can't speak highly enough of them but this one is my favourite colour and they stay on for ages. And then my last two are two red ones. I've spoken about them both before, so I won't go on about them. They're both Rimmel Apocalypse lip lacquers, which I think are amazing. Um, one's more of a pinky red, and one is quite a vampy red. The pinky red is Stella, and the vampy red is Big Bang. My last video, my um, Christmas gift guide, I think I was wearing, yeah, I was wearing Big Bang. So if anyone asked, that's what I was wearing. And these are my go-to reds. I just find them really easy to apply. Um, and they stay on for ages. I don't smudge. You don't want red lipstick smudging. That's not a good look. So the obsession with candles is continuing to grow at quite a rapid pace, especially throughout winter. It gets worse. So I'm going to show you some of my favourite, favourite candles at the moment that I'm just obsessed with. The first one is Merry Marshmallow. As you can see, a lot of this one has gone now. We've been burning it all the way through probably some of November and all of December. Absolutely love it. It's lasted ages. It's probably got like a third left. I'm just going to finish using this one up and it's just a really nice marshmallowy scent. I can't really describe it any more than that. And the second one is Christmas Memories, which again is gone. Quite a lot of that one's gone as well. Not quite as much, but this one is great if you love like ginger and cinnamon and warm, spicy, homely scents. This one is great for, like to have near your front door so when people come in it smells really homely and just... Yeah, this one just reminds me of Christmas in general, so that's Christmas memories. And I've got two that I haven't started yet, I'm really excited about using them, and I'm going to be burning these ones through like the second part of Christmas and until they're gone basically. Even into the new year, if they're not gone, I will use them up. The first one is Snowflake Cookie, and this one is, it's a hard to describe scent, it's half, um like a cookie scent, but half like um, a fresh scent as well. When I smell it, it reminds me a bit of coconut, like desiccated coat, not desiccated coconut, like coconut when it's on cakes, you know, like these, the, oh, I can't explain it, but yeah, it's got a coconutty scent to it, but like um, a cakey scent, not a holiday scent, like um, a bakery smell. And this one I'm really looking forward to using. This is Christmas Eve. This is just a lovely mixture of fruity berries and spicy scents as well. So if you don't really like the really strong spicy smells then 
you'd probably like this because it's a bit fresher. Um, I wish I had like a scent list on the back of everything that was in it because I'm rubbish at describing what things smell like. But all I can say is these four candles are amazing. I love that my house smells of them at the moment and I just recommend all four of those completely and utterly love them. Next on to something that I couldn't be without during winter and that is hand creams and I have a little selection of my favourites here. So I have two L'Occitane hand creams. My mum got me obsessed with these. She loves L'Occitane and now I love it as well. Um, these are the Fleur de Cerisia, like that's the French pronunciation obviously which I'm butchering, but it means cherry blossom I'm assuming because it says cherry blossom underneath and that's this one and it smells of cherry blossom. Um, but my favourite one is the dry skin hand cream, um, it's a 20% shea butter one and as you can see like a lot of it's gone. Um, these are amazing, I just can't speak highly enough of this. This one just smells clean and fresh, um, doesn't, it's just like, it just, the smell reminds me of L'Occitane so unless you smell it that's not very helpful but it's just a really clean fresh scent and I love that. And then one to go for if you have terribly dry skin, hands, lips. This is a great multi-purpose product. I just absolutely love it. I got this little tiny tube last Christmas, um, but it lasts for 36 months, so you've got like a three year use on it. Um, it's the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream, and you really need the smallest bit, it goes a long way. I'll try and quickly show you. It's like, um, oh, it's like an orange sort of, uh, thick consistency and you just have to rub it on your hands and it just melts in, it's really thick so you have to give it a while to soak in, rub it around your cuticles, you can put it on your lips, you can put it on your dry elbows, wherever you've got a bit of dry skin put this and it's a miracle worker, absolutely brilliant. Next I want to go on to some favourite clothes for winter and I happen to be wearing them right now so that I could show you. So the first is fluffy warm socks and the ones I've got on now I'm going to put in and insert a clip because otherwise I'd be having to hold my foot up which is not very attractive. So these are my tartan socks with the fluffy uh, woolly pom-poms on, they're from Primark. They have a really cosy lining and I absolutely adore wearing them. I've also got on my favourite scarf of the moment, which you all know I'm sure because I've mentioned it before, and it's of course a tartan one. This is also from Primark. It's got tassels, it's really thick, warm, it looks a lot more expensive than it was. It was five pounds, five pounds guys. I think that's brilliant value. Like I said, it's really warm, it's really like wide and thick, but I've just obviously scrunched it together as you do with scarves and I just absolutely love it so this is one of my favourite things to wear at the moment just keeps me so cosy and warm so obviously in winter living in the UK if you don't love jumpers then you're in a bit of trouble so luckily I do love jumpers and I have this one on which I can't show you too well because I've only just realised it's see through I'm going to hold it out a bit and hopefully it's not see through um, it's from Forever 21 I just recently purchased it I might do a haul video with everything that I got because I went a bit crazy in there for some reason um, it's just this really I've got hair on it from brushing my hair um, it's just this really nice jumper, it's, it, I can't really explain it too well because it's, it is just a jumper, it's white and it has um, like a knitted front so it's almost stripy, you can probably see that on the camera. I'm going to stand up to show you and then you can see the leggings that I've got on as well, they're also from Forever 21 and I don't love them for Christmas but I love them at the moment because they're new. So this is the bottom of the jumper looks like and I wanted to get one that was long enough to wear with leggings so um, obviously I don't like just wearing leggings on their own so I picked these up which I thought were quite nice and the jumper is quite long so I really like it, I hope you can see it properly, I'll just lower myself down. So at the moment I am loving cosy socks cosy scarves and cosy jumpers. Of course my winter slash Christmas essentials would not be complete without my favourite Christmas DVDs so I'm going to give you the lowdown on what they are now. So the first one is of course Elf. This is probably my favourite Christmas DVD of all time. It's absolutely amazing. Will Ferrell is hilarious and I don't really know anyone that doesn't like this film. I just think it's brilliant. Next is the Grinch. This film is so good. I just remember it from my childhood. I absolutely love it. Again, Jim Carrey is hilarious and this is just a classic Christmas film, right? Third is Nativity. Now, not as many people may have heard of this film. I saw this in the cinema when it came out a few years ago and I absolutely love it. It's a really great British comedy. Um, I won't go into the whole story, but it's got Martin Freeman along with loads of other great actors and actresses in it and the kids in it are hilarious. So yeah, this is 
up there with my favourites. And finally, it's got to be Love Actually. That kind of all rhymed. This is just one of my favourite films ever, not just for Christmas. I absolutely love Love Actually. It's got so many amazing people in it. I love all the stories that link together. And, oh my gosh, I can't even say how much I love this film. So comment in the box below with which one of those you would pick because I'm going to sit and watch one tonight with Ricky. So let me know which one's your favourite and which one you think we should watch in the comments box below. Just one more Christmas essential has got to be a hot chocolate in my favourite Kath Kidson mug. I couldn't live without a hot chocolate. I love it so much. Um, I especially like making it at home. I don't really like coffee. I like tea but hot chocolate's my favourite so... I'm going to drink this, watch a Christmas film and have a really Christmassy evening. Hope you're all enjoying the Christmas festivities at the moment and getting excited. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll speak to you soon. Bye! Dainty dear necklace. Um, this is a, a little bit more of a recent addition to the website but it's been so so popular. It's this really beautiful hand painted deer.